Good morning, ladies. This is Blue Jasmine, and that is Dawn. Blue Jasmine is my second rescue horse. I got her when I was maybe 22, around there, and I called up a local rescue because my previous rescue horse, who is my original horse's best friend, had unfortunately passed away. And my horse Atticus was so sad about it that he cried all day and all night for three days until my neighbors were like, look, you have got to get another horse in there. This horse is so sad. So I called up the local rescue and I said, give me the horse that nobody wants, the one you think is not adoptable, because it's just going to be a companion horse to my horse. I don't need to ride it. I don't need to make it do anything. It can just have a happy forever home. And so they brought me Blue Jasmine. And when she arrived, she was so sweet. She was such an angel. She was very cuddly and affectionate, very sleepy. She lied down. I lied down on top of her. I thought we're going to be best friends. And then I get there in the morning and she's snorting at me. She reared at me. She was running and terrified. And I realized she had been very drugged when she arrived. So she was just super high, like, okay. And um, it took two years, actually, of training to be able to touch her and put a halter on her and get her little hooves done. She still doesn't want us to touch her back legs, but we're getting there. And Jasmine was such a mess because she had been a broodmare for the Premarin industry, which is an awful drug that unfortunately is a female hormone replacement drug and a pretty popular one. And doctors don't tell you what it's made from, which is the urine of pregnant mares. So you can see she's a little bit sway-backed. She's a lot better than when we first got her. When we first got her, it looked like she had a broken back and her belly was so low. So she's really come a long way. I'm sorry. That was rude of me to say. Anyways, she looks really good now. And she's so beautiful. We love her to pieces. But she had had so many babies and not been able to raise them. They end up going to slaughter. And um, they kept her strapped in a stall with a catheter. To catch her urine and turn it into pills and creams for women going through menopause or with low estrogen. So please make sure if you're taking those drugs um, that they're not coming from Premarin, Duavi, or the Pfizer company. If you're having hormonal issues, try fenugreek. It's a tincture that is plant-based and it works a whole heck of a lot better <laughs> than Premarin or Duavi. And the side effects are all awesome, like it protects your liver, it helps you lose weight, increases insulin sensitivity. Um, yeah, so give that a try. And Dawn, Dawn came to us from a feedlot. Her hooves were so long, they were curled over in front. And she still is having some trouble with the front hooves. We're getting them done every four weeks, trying to change the shape without making her too sore, but it was recommended that she be put down because she could barely walk. She was in so much pain and she's such a beautiful girl. I said, no, hold on, let's try something. So we gave her tons of oats with lots of carrots, which is amazing for arthritis and inflammation and copious amounts, like a quarter to a half cup of cinnamon every single day until she was able to walk because we reduced the inflammation. We started working on her hooves. So she walks around, sometimes she trots, she even canters and bucks if she gets excited. Thank you. <laughs> oh, she found some oats on the ground there. And um, she is recovering quite well. We're hoping in another six months or so, she'll be really comfortable and she can make someone a good kid's riding pony. Bye, ladies. We love you.